What is up, you guys? We are back here in Las Vegas, staying at the Excalibur. We want to take you around the property, show you one of their stay well rooms, and show you what's to eat, and take a look at the casino, and much, much, much more. Now it's time for the room tour. This room, when you first come in, it's a pretty decent size. We are staying in a two queen stay well room. Becky, this is our first time ever staying in a stay well room, and there are some cool features about this room. I'm really excited because we have a diffuser that lets out essential oils, and right now it's plain and orange smell, so that is very uh, refreshing. And for me that has bad allergies, um, we have an air purifier in the room, which is great. We also have the wellness water. I think it's a filtration system, probably takes all the calcium and heart chemicals out. So that's nice as well. And we have the most comfy bed ever. Um, they're super comfortable. We stayed on a bed last night in a different hotel and that was hard as a rock. That so was a nightmare. We are super happy that we got nice, a nice bed. Uh, two pillows, not three or four, two, but they're good sized pillows. So hopefully those are nice pillows. And let's check the pillows because Josh and I realize we're pillow snubs. Oh yeah, okay. This is nice. So now it looks like soft pillow. The last ones from last night were very hard Feels as a okay. rock. Yeah, so you have this nightstand which has one outlet on it, you guys. So just in case, you might want to bring a little surge protector. But I do see another outlet down there behind there. I have a little thing that I plug in so Becky and I can charge both our phones right there. You have this great little sitting area. And actually, there's enough room for this sitting area. Sometimes they try to squeeze it too close to the bed. But you can see you have some leg room there, a nice big table. I love it. You have a smaller size TV, looks like maybe a 37 inch, maybe 42 inch TV. Lots of drawer space to store your clothes if you're staying for a longer period of time. I mean the furniture is a little outdated, but that's okay because the room definitely smells fresh and looks fresh. You do have a closet here which does not have the barn door style, which I'm a big fan of not having the barn door style. We have the ironing, ironing board, a lot of space. The one thing I did notice though in this room is there's no safe. I can't find the safe. Either that's a good thing or a bad thing that I can't find it, but I don't think there's a safe. Coming into the bathroom, pretty standard bathroom, huge mirror. So that way two people can get ready at the same time. Lots of counter space, counter top space, one sink, got your blow dryer, got your individual shampoos and body washes and soaps, which I love over those big old dispenser things at some of these hotels. Uh, stand up shower only, which is fine. Like Becky was talking about earlier, they have the stay fresh, uh, stay well, little water filtration doodad on there, but not too shabby of a restroom. One of the best things about being in the resort tower is that we got ourselves a strip view and look at this view, you guys. We got the New York, New York right there, MGM Grand. Uh, you see Planet Hollywood back in the background and I can see some of Aria back there, so I can't wait for the night view because I think at nighttime, probably be spectacular. Hey, do us a favor, it helps us out a lot. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell notification so that way you get notified every time we post one of these hotel reviews, either in Las Vegas or somewhere else in the United States. Just make sure you do that for us, it really helps us a lot, and make sure you give a thumbs up now let's head on down stairs and see what we can show you about the property. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. Let's check out the casino and see what it looks like. Do they got new, old, or do they have a whole variety of slots? And what's their table section look like? There's definitely not a shortage of slot machines here. It looks like there are a lot of slots. I do like it when there's a lot of slots and not a lot of space. I like it when it feels like it's popping. It feels like there's people everywhere. Yeah, it has good energy. The vibe is good. Coming right from the towers, 
you go right into the center where they have all the table games here. They got roulette, they got blackjack, they got all sorts, three card poker, craps, everything. And at every MGM property, you got Bet MGM Sportsbook, right tucked away over here in the corner. Not very large, but a lot of screen, so you can definitely pick your favorite team and hopefully win some money. They also have the high limit slots. Oh my goodness. Did Becky just sneak in right now and looking like she's gonna play some high limit slots? And like I say, every time you come to the casino, make sure you're a rewards member. Gotta sign up for the MGM Rewards Program. That way you earn credits, you get discounts on rooms, food, and other things. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the self-service craps and roulette tables. What a great way to learn before you hit the big tables. Quite a few places to eat here at Excalibur. They have the Baja Fresh. They have Dick's Last Resort. And there's definitely quite a few bars hanging around here. These ones, if you play in at the bar, you can drink for free. Just make sure you tip. And if you choose Dick's Last Resort, make sure you are ready to be humiliated and have lots of fun. Like I said, there is not a shortage of these bars. I think all four corners have these bars throughout the casino. Ooh, Vagabond, drink, eat, and play. And a staple at every single casino out there seems to be Johnny Rockets, home of the original hamburger. I don't know about that, but that's what they're saying. And right at the back side where the rotunda's at where you drive through and drop off and do the valet, they have a Starbucks. Becky is super happy about having a Starbucks. You know, on a hot, hot day when I need a refresher, I do like to add a little bit of vodka in there. It's a good drink. And then you can go upstairs to where the buffet is, the meeting rooms are, the Thunder Showroom, where they have some exotic dancer that Becky likes, and the food court. Another fan favorite is Buca de Peppo, Italian restaurant. Very nice, but they also have a ton of other places to eat. They have a whole food court here, which has chicken, Cinnabons, Chill, which is ice cream, Dairy Queen, pickup sticks, they have basically all sorts of food. The buffet, which is actually called The Buffet at Excalibur, is only doing weekday brunches, Monday through Thursday, and weekend brunches, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The price is just $3 more for the weekend. Not a bad deal. Like I said, they got the thunder from down under here. Or if you wanna see the Australian Bee Gees, which I think would be a cool show to see, it is right over there in Thunderland. Becky, 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 look, look what I, look what I see, look what I see. Is that a Krispy Kreme oh, donut? No. Oh, I know what I'm having for breakfast like tomorrow. For me. And right off the main entrance, there is a downstairs which has an orange Julius, which I might have to get because I love those. Donuts? Yes. <laughs> and it looks like an arcade. We're gonna go down there and see what else is there. Here we go, I'm gonna show you some uh, arcade action. Ah! Also down here in the fun dungeon, they do have the Tournament of Kings dinner show. If you like to see it, knights joust and battle each other. See who's gonna be the winner. This is a great show to watch. So we are here at the pool at the Excalibur. Pretty nice wide open area, a little crowded day. It is warm, but look at this. It's a nice waterfall out there, some good music. It is a nice little pool area. They also have a nice place to eat called Drenched. You can dine in or you can take it to wherever you're sitting by the pool. Also looks like they have daily cabanas for rent. I'm not sure what the pricing is, but you know, pretty expensive. And here's another pool where it looks like where the kids are at. Didn't even realize they have a whole nother pool behind the rock work right here. So the big old rock waterfall separating the two pools. They also have the Royal Pool, which is by reservation only. So if you want a little more of a private experience, gotta make a reservation. And you gotta be a gold, platinum, or noir member to get in there. Let me give you the pricing on the Excalibur on a Friday night. And I thought it was a pretty decent price for a Friday night. It was $85 for a stay well dual queen room 
The stay well rooms are on floor 12, 13, and 14. So just remember that if you're ever getting a stay well room, you're gonna be on 12, 13, or 14. And we did have a strip view. We had the beautiful view of New York, New York. So $84, somebody said $84. And then you have a $40 resort fee to tack onto that. There's some taxes. So that comes out to $140 basically. If I did all my math right, it might've been $85. But um, we also opted for a late checkout because we knew we were gonna be up really late. We didn't get into the room until like 3.30 in the morning last night. So we opted for the 3 p.m. checkout, which is perfect because our check-in at the Luxor is at 3 p.m. So we're just gonna swap the car over to their parking lot and go there. But very decent i mean it's so basically it was like 170 dollars um out the door with parking which is 15 dollars the late checkout fee the room so i'm good with 170 bucks out the door on a friday night um great deal let me give you my final thoughts on this room now this room is you could tell it's a little dated but it is the stay well room it has the air purifier it has the diffuser which the, makes the room smell great all the time the bathroom looks like it's been updated compared to the rest of the room it was really nice it was clean it's just you know some of the furniture is a little dated i thought the, the beds and the pillows awesome slept like a baby the property it's a pretty big property there's uh three levels there's a whole food court and stuff and buffet and then they have arcade for the kids very family friendly property uh, the casino totally met our needs between table games slots um it's walking distance right across the street to new york new york and then you have the luxor and the mandalay bay right there which you can take a tram or you could walk right there so there's a lot of properties in this vicinity it's definitely it's not center strip it's more southern strip but that's fine if you're going to be staying in this area so i would i it beat my expectations i was not expecting much coming from the excalibur but i thought definitely I would stay here again uh, because I, I just didn't think it was going to be that good and uh, we actually had a great time. There's a lot of food options around, maybe not in the resort, there's not, a, I mean there's basic food option, options, but if you're trying to get something a little bit better, you got to go to one of the other resorts, which is fine. We ate over at the Mandalay Bay at the House of Blues and it was delicious, they had a great deal, two for 50, so great time, great deal. Let me know in the comments below, have you stayed here at the Excalibur? What were your thoughts? I've heard mixed reviews on it, so I'm curious to hear more. Um, let us know what you think. And with that, we'll catch you next time.